Remember, going back to the sentient world simulation, peer-reviewed white paper out of Purdue University in 2006. The program went live in 2007, describing humans as a node. And every person on the planet is represented in the computer software as a node. That's a data node. And given an avatar. As an organic computer. I mean, this is, this is one of the, the most um, conspir quote unquote conspiratory theories that's been around for, for, for many, 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 many years, decades. But the reality is, is we're now facing the reality of that. It is no longer a conspiracy. The science is done and you will see this. And this is the next step on from the virtual reality goggles. And this is why it terrifies me. And this is why I'm trying to wake people up. NASA, Google, Amazon, the NSA's um, computing centers, data collection centers, like in Utah and Texas, all use D-Wave's computers. But they never talk about networking them. They present it to the public as though they operate independently with independent organizations. So how independent is Google? Jeff Bezos, Amazon. Why is he partnered with Google and D-Wave? We can generate an electronic signal that's characteristic for the DNA. This can read DNA from solution, and your blood is a solution, it's a liquid. We can decode it into a form that can be read by a computer. And in a way, you can think about uh, DNA as uh, digital information moving through a tube. Now, if we can tap into that tube, uh, like a network, and we can read that information, we can intercept what's happening in people, you can make them an extension of the internet. And, uh, you know, I, I have a thermostat at home that's on my iPad. I can change, I can warm the house up before I get home. People call that the Internet of Things. We call this the Internet of Living Things. The third strand of DNA, our DNA, right now, can be modified through nanoparticles, nanomachines. We have inhaled through the aerosolized chemtrail spraying through our GMO foods. Our environment has polluted us. We have dormant nanocells, nanomachines in our body that will be triggered by microwave impulses.